Welcome to Big Chino Valley in north central Arizona in something we call the transition zone. A geologic transition between the Colorado Plateau of northern Arizona and the Basin and Range Province, which is most of southern central western Arizona. My name is Phil Perthry. I am a research geologist with the Arizona Geological Survey. I've been studying evidence for young faulting and seismic hazard in Arizona now for over 30 years. And this is one of the prime places in Arizona to come and look for evidence for young faulting. This is the Big Chino Fault Zone. And the Big Chino Fault Zone has, over millions of years, dropped the valley, Big Chino Valley behind me, down and uplifted the mountains behind the camera uh, and, and developed a, the general landscape in this area. So this basin and range faulting that's dropped down valleys relative to the mountains, the valleys are filled with thousands of feet of sediment that's been eroded from the mountains and deposited in the valleys over millions of years. And that's very important in Arizona because that's where most of our water supply comes from. The water is in the, in the spaces between the, the sediment in the valley and that's, that's where we get our groundwater from basically in Arizona. Today we're going to visit a couple of spots along the Big Chino Fall where we'll, find, we'll show you evidence of the, the evidence for young faulting that we look for, the evidence in the landscape that indicates that faults have been active recently. That's important because when we consider uh, earthquake hazards, really the most important earthquakes are the ones that are large earthquakes that are magnitude six or greater. So large earthquakes in this environment are big enough that they actually break the ground surface. So we're standing on the doorstep of the Big Chino Fault and the Big Chino Fault Scarp in, in Big Chino Valley in, in northern Arizona. Uh, the scarp that we see that's in the background here is, has been generated by movement on the Big Chino Fault where the area where we're standing has dropped down relative to the area that's up above the fault. And that's why that's one of the ways, the, one of the key ways that we can recognize evidence for young faulting. I'm standing at the base of, the, of one of the Big Chino Fault scarps. Uh, this scarp behind me is 50 or 60 feet high. And it's it has been generated by multiple large earthquakes. Uh, probably each earthquake is on the order of six to 10 feet of displacement. So, so probably been somewhere between five and 10 earthquakes that have generated this large feature behind me. And we think that the age of the alluvial fan surface above me and top of the scarp is some somewhere on the order of a, a few hundred thousand years old. So, so over the past few hundred thousand years, there have probably been five or ten large earthquakes on this fault zone. So the largest historical earthquake that's occurred in this area over the past 50 years for sure, maybe even longer, was a magnitude around five earthquake that occurred in the Chino Valley area, so some ways south of here. Um, it caused a reasonable amount of damage, no, no serious damage, no houses were destroyed or anything like that, but I think some chimneys were toppled and damage was done. And of course, fewer people lived in the area back in 1976 than, did, than do today. So a similar earthquake would cause more sort of nuisance damage. But um, that earthquake probably did not occur on the Big Chino Fault itself. Uh, we think that the kind of earthquakes that, we, that have formed this fault scarp that I, was, uh, that I referred to are more like a magnitude seven earthquakes, really large earthquakes, that would cause significant damage in this area. And the reason why we think that they would be that large is because the Big Chino Fault Zone is about 30 or 35 miles long. And so that's the kind of the earthquake would rupture the surface for 35 miles, which is pretty long. And probably there would be something like six to 10 feet of, of down dropping of the area that we're standing in relative to the area up above the the fault scarp in that sort of event. So the, the really significant displacement of the surface, which would, would release a tremendous amount, amount more energy than a magnitude five earthquake. In fact, something like uh, 900 times more energy actually. So it would be a much, much bigger event. We're in downtown Prescott, Arizona, about 30 miles south of the 
big Chino fault that we were visiting in the little Chino fault zone that we visited. Uh, this is the closest metropolitan area that might be affected by large earthquakes on, on those faults. Um, one of the particular concerns in, in Prescott are these older buildings that were are, uh, 50 to 100 year old masonry buildings built in downtown and the old buildings around the downtown square that uh, maybe are, typically are quite susceptible to earthquake shaking. We're far enough away from the fault, so we're not saying that there'll be total destruction downtown, but if a large earthquake did occur on the Big Chino or the Little Chino Fault, or both, um, Prescott would certainly be impacted significantly and would, would have substantial damage. Mm -hmm.